So I'm not sure what we would call this room. But it's not exactly an office. Our home came with a small built-in nook that was a perfect place for work desk for my wife Ying. So at first, I kind of put together something rather quickly. This was before it became this hybrid playpen family room, which meant it was a good time for a facelift. Instead of the dark walnut, which isn't the best look for this room, the look and feel I'm going for is for the white and oak combination. And the most important part is the tabletop. Because this is an awkward size opening, finding a suitable tabletop would not be easy without some customization. This opening measured at 45 and a half by 25 deep, allowing for some clearance along the wall. So I decided to go with a lift tabletop from Structube. Not the exact color I wanted, but it was still pretty nice. I'm not a very good carpenter, so I got help cutting it down and did some very minor prep work. It was important to leave this one inch gap at the back for cables and a bit of clearance. Before securing it to the top, I made sure the sides had enough clearance for moving up and down on these electric standing legs, which I purchased from Prime Cable. At the focal point of the desk is the monitor. LG offered to send me their new LG Dual Up Ergo monitor and I thought it was a perfect monitor for this space. It comes with the coveted LG Ergo stand, one piece, nothing to put together, easy enough to install, no tools needed. I love the design and quality of this stand. It has fluid movement, simple adjustments and strong resistance, making this one of the best stands out there. I found that the optimal position would be off to the side in order to have the screen in the center of this nook. Immediately, I realized this was a perfect size display. This allows multiple positions, even in this narrow space. A wider or larger monitor would have almost no wiggle room for horizontal movement or corner positions. I'll get into more about the monitor and tech and the usage later. This video is sponsored by Volta. With a single cable, you can seamlessly connect and fast charge various devices. Volta uses magnetic SnapSafe connector tips compatible with just about everything. USB-C, micro USB, and lightning, making it convenient when taking your devices to different locations. Snap on, snap off, strong connection makes it safe and reliable. I'll always bring this with me when I travel, along with their 33 watt giga charger supporting the latest super fast charging protocols. They have a couple of different versions on their website. Check them out at the link below, along with the coupon code if you're interested. Let's continue with the setup. Of course, no office is complete without the Scatis pegboard from Ikea. They introduced some new accessories this year, so I took the opportunity to try out some of the new ones. When it comes to lighting, I didn't want anything too high tech, so I found this little desk lamp with built-in charger from Ikea. It has this charming little look while being practical. The lamp is portable, which allows you to place it anywhere, and also gives you space to charge your phone. It can recharge the batteries inside the lamp as well. The unique tone and color makes it stand out, but I wish it came in a white option. Because of how bright this room is most of the time, I focus on mood and accent lighting. The light strip at the back of the desk would be perfect to go along with the lamp, creating an ambience as well as relieve eye strain. A tiny bit of storage goes a long way. Grovemade has this new small desk shelf made with hardwood, aluminum, and cork. A practical accessory in just the right color combination. With the middle aluminum tray for that extra clean organization and just narrow enough to give some storage without taking up too much space. I've also installed these low profile pull out storage below the desk and out of the way. The simple plastic sliding shelf from Amazon can hold some pens and cables but not much more. But it's very effective in keeping things off the desk. I also added their matching pen and holder, one of my favorite items in their collection. With the desk ready to go, here's what Ying is using on the surface. This desk mat is from Harbour London, soft wool felt with a tan leather cable holder. This medium size is big enough to cover the keyboard and mouse area. Here we're using the Logitech Lift, a uniquely designed ergonomic mouse, multiple buttons that can be mapped, it has a nice natural feel to it. Although it does take a little bit of getting used to. The other downside is that it requires your own AA battery, but other than that, I think it's a great mouse. She's still using an older ASUS 13 inch laptop, which is due for an upgrade. It fits perfectly in the shelf when she wants to use a single monitor display only with an external keyboard. 
This is Ying's first mechanical keyboard, a budget-friendly choice that I found. Nothing fancy, round switch, so it's quiet and tactile with an extra scroll wheel for additional volume or brightness control. It comes with several colored keys to match the aesthetics, so I chose the yellow. All of the cables run through the back using a simple cable tray, keeping things clean. Very basic, nothing fancy. For media and quick smart home controls, we've added the second generation EcoShow 5. The 5 inch screen acts as a nice display for our photos, ring camera, and other media. The compact size is just right for this desk. Although I did find it a bit slow and unresponsive, it's not a big deal as this is mostly a passive display device. At this point, I'd like to mention this amazing chair. Yes, this is a human scale freedom, probably the best chair I've ever sat in. This was not part of my setup, something that my wife had purchased a while ago. Very pricey, but worth every penny. It's unique in that there are almost no adjustments to be made. Very comfortable just the way it is. I find myself sneaking in just to sit on this every once in a while. The display on this monitor is gorgeous, using nano IPS technology supporting 98% of DCI P3 and HDR10. It's meant to replace two 21 and a half inch monitors sitting right on top of each other, which is convenient in terms of saving space. The LG tool makes it easy to split the display in various configurations for effective multitasking. As the vertical space improves reading, documents, and online shopping, you can rotate this horizontal, but it really doesn't add much. One thing that I really like the vertical screen for YouTube videos or Instagram videos really looks great here. And navigating spreadsheets with large row counts. There's a picture in picture option for a split screen to connect multiple devices at once. Splitting the screen in half half for each device could be used for gaming or video, but it's not something either of us has taken advantage of. As much as I like the overall warm aesthetics, the spacing and the functionality, there are things that are not ideal. But you need to be mindful about the things near the wall when adjusting the desk height. Also, the USB output behind the monitor lacks the power to support some of the screen bars and lights, such as my old Xiaomi, which is why I didn't attach this one. Depending on the day, the usage and setup and orientation can get switched around to all these various configurations. Let me know which one you like. The goal here was to add efficiency and usable area in a small space, and I think we've done that here. Maybe we'll do an update in a few months. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've included links to all the items you see I hope this was productive and useful for you. Take care.